my goodness, that was a lot. If you just joined us for Yes for VBS, Yes for Preparation, that was like 20 minutes of some really heavy stuff as we were thinking about um, planning and preparing for Vacation Bible School. Guess what? This session isn't that long, so you're good to go. Um, but we do want to talk about Yes to Promotion. How do we share with our church? How do we share with our community that we're having Vacation Bible School? What are some things we can think about? Do you remember that statistic that I shared with you at the very first section from the book, It's Worth It? Uh, let me remind you, more than two thirds of American parents say they would encourage their child to attend Vacation Bible School if their child was at a church they don't attend, if their child was personally invited by a friend. So most American parents, according to the study, would allow their kiddo to go to VBS at a church they don't attend if someone invited them. So the very best promotion strategy for Vacation Bible School is friends inviting friends. And so how do we do that in a way that is um, engaging, in a way that's fun? And that's something that you and your team, your promotion team, remember, and that you recruited months before VBS, those are some things that you can brainstorm. How do you find creative ways to equip friends, to invite friends to Vacation Bible School? So here's some things to think about. Um, we wanna make sure that we reach the kids who are already inside our church. That's a given but we wanna do it in some creative ways, in some ways that maybe draw in some kids on the periphery um, who haven't been actively involved in our children's ministry. And the most obvious ways that you can promote, you know, your bulletin, your church newsletter, your church sign, um, but what about a prayer list that you post in the rooms um, so that grandparents and aunts and uncles um, would know that VBS is happening so they can make sure that kiddos are here? Um, or maybe there is a poster contest that you have for Vacation Bible School and the kids in your children's ministry make posters and you put them in all of the classrooms um, and they get an opportunity to do their own theme interpretation um, in letting the church know that VBS is happening, where it's happening, when it's happening, the time. And that would be a fun way to engage the folks in your church to begin promoting VBS. But what about outside your church? The people in the community. Remember, VBS does two things in your church. It equips for evangelism and it equips for discipleship. Discipleship for those who are um, already Christ followers, whether it's kiddos who are knowing Jesus more or maybe sensing a call to missions, or discipleship in the adults who are leading them um, because we learn to know Jesus more when we're teaching others to follow him. But evangelism, the people who are not yet a part of your church family and maybe they have not yet even heard the gospel, how do we connect with them? Um, think about some free sources that are in your community, whether it's um, free ads on a local television station or a radio station. Um, maybe you have a community magazine or newspaper um, that would um, promote your vacation Bible school. That's a great way to reach out and begin building connections with community partners um, so that your church can begin to have influence in your community. Um, if you have the resources, a mail out to families who um, are prospects who have maybe attended church a few times, sending them some information about BBS. Um, if you have permission and if you already have a partnership with your local schools, whether they're public or private, um, go into the schools and um, maybe a, a, as simple as passing out a reminder for the fridge or maybe it could be um, some prepackaged snacks with information about Vacation Bible School. Um, but make sure if you're going to do that, that your church is already spent time investing in the schools um, because we don't want to come in and push information on them if we haven't partnered with them in other ways. Um, our local schools desperately need us and so we want to have an opportunity um, to share our love and to share our story not only at VBS time but all throughout the year. So make sure you're being diligent in that before you approach them um, about handing out material and make sure you're following the process um, so that we are good neighbors and good community partners as it relates particularly to our public schools. Um, you could have um, posters in restaurants. We have some um, local restaurants around our town and they love putting up posters for things that are happening in our community. Again, another way to build community um, camaraderie. Or you could give your church children a small token related to the theme for VBS and they could take it and give it to their classmates or they could give it to their ball team. Um, you could pass out water or VBS invites maybe at the 
ballpark um, if you have permission from um, the league there um, to be able to invite those children. Maybe if you have extra resources, you could buy a billboard in your area to advertise for VBS. Um, but don't forget about social media, um, using Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Um, use those resources wisely uh, to connect with families. You could also hold a kickoff event at your church, at a local park, at a location that kind of relates to the theme for that VBS year, um, and invite your entire community to come. And then you tell them about VBS, you tell them about your church, other ministries, um, maybe even have a ministry fair where you highlight all of the different things that your church offers for families. And when you do those things, make sure you have plenty of registration forms or you have um, computers set up where families can register online. Um, the importance of a kickoff event is that you get that information from kiddos ahead of time so that you can begin um, sorting through and seeing who has allergies or who has special needs or what kids go in which class. Um, there, it is important that we have multiple means um, for parents to register, whether it is print or whether it is online. And um, for those of you that are in places where English is um, not the language that might be spoken all the time, making sure we have those resources in Spanish or Korean or Chinese or whatever the population is, um, so that those families can um, register their kids for VBS. Um, Lifeway Kid um, offers um, a piece called Kid Event Pro, and it is a computer program that has um, a nominal fee for a year-long subscription. It's a piece that I use at my church um, because I can register kids not only for vacation Bible school, but for camps or parents' night out. Um, and it's a really helpful tool that keeps all of that information for me, especially um, the authorized pickup list, who can pick up a child, who can't pick up a child, um, any allergies those kids might have, any medical needs, all of that is right at my fingertips on the computer. And so for those of you that are exploring churches, that might be a piece that you want to think about. Um, for those of you that are engaging churches, you might have your own software that you've written. Um, make sure that you include all of those different things. And one piece that's super important to include on that registration form, ask whether or not you can take a picture of that child. Um, Mama can post pictures on Facebook of her kids all day long, but if we don't have permission to use those those pictures and to post them and um, then we can't do that so make sure and um, that your church has a social media policy and um, that is reflected in your registration process so that your um, teachers and volunteers know um, who they can take pictures of who they can't what they post and what they can't post and that that's just really clear because that avoids a whole lot of heartache and confusion for families and, and for your church as well um, keep registration open not only in your promotion but throughout your entire VBS experience. A couple of years ago I had a grandmama bring her two children at 10:30 on a Friday before VBS ended at 12.05 and she wanted to register her kids for VBS um, and so we did that. She filled out the whole process. We got those kids into their classes for two hours um, and they had two hours of vacation Bible school and that grandmama sat and visited with some of our church members while her kids had VBS. BBS. And so even at the very last minute, make sure that you are welcoming folks from, our, from your community to Vacation Bible School. Make sure that you have good information um, in your registration forms for families that you can use that for follow-up. Mom, dad's name, um, emergency contact information, where they live, their email, and their cell phone number, whether or not they prefer text or email, and so that you can follow up with them in ways that they are most likely um, to receive that information. Um, be sure that you are asking about allergies, special needs, um, we've already talked about making sure we have permission to photograph children, um, and be especially mindful um, when you are working with kids about those kiddos who um, might be from divorced families or they might be from foster care. They could be from really difficult environments and one um, misplaced social media post could create a lot of conflict for that family. And we want to make sure that um, in our promotion that our kids and families um, feel 
um, very good about um, what our church is doing as it relates to registration, as it relates to promoting um, what the kids are doing during the VBS week, um, whether it's a video that we show or um, it is something that we post on our social media accounts that we're doing that with wisdom. Um, social media is a fantastic way to connect um, families to our church if we use it wisely. And promotion and registration are one of those key places where we can troubleshoot and make sure and that we are doing the very best for our kids and our families as it relates to our current environment. You don't have to spend a lot of money on promotion, but it is worth our while to make sure we think about that strategy so that we are very clear um, for our church kids and for our community kids of what they can expect when they come to VBS, um, when to be there, what time to show up, um, what time to leave, um, so that they can have a really, really great experience um, connecting with God at our church during VBS.